So we are in Shargao. We just uh, commissioned a boat for the day. Uh, it was only 30 US dollars for the day, about 1,500 pesos. Uh, and then they're gonna take us around to uh, three or four different islands today. Right now we're on uh, Naked Island. Uh, no one is naked. It's called Naked Island because uh, there are no trees on this island, it's just a sandbar. And uh, it's rather a bit of a tourist trap, especially at this time of day, because we were a little bit uh, late getting started today. Uh, had trouble getting the girls ready. Um, but it's, it's pretty cool, it's good swimming here. Um, thankfully it's an overcast day, otherwise we would be, we would be frying on this island here. We're on Naked Island. But nobody's naked. <laughs> I did it! Good job, Chloe. Clean it off, Mommy. Okay. Look. It looks like at one point they had a tree, but they had to chop it down just to stay true to the name. We completely lucked out today because it's perfectly overcast, uh, so it just feels super comfortable today. Fantastic weather to be swimming. Time to go to the next island. We have made it to our second island of the day. I uh, completely missed the name of this island, but I'll catch it later. Um, but this one is basically just a lo much larger island with a nice uh, large uh, beach, and the kids are loving it. But that boat motor is so loud, it's disorienting for a couple of minutes after getting off. Kinda wish we had earplugs. I can hear it now. You can hear now? Was it hard to hear on the boat? Yeah. What happened? I got sand on the roof. What are you doing? Making myself a mermaid. Mommy's getting... Mommy's up there. Yeah. You gonna get cleaned up? Yeah. I just... I just was... going to start it to be a, a mermaid like Alexa. But instead, I did a lot of things. That's how I did it. Get sand me out. You're trying to put you're trying to be a mermaid? Yeah. It is hot. And uh, I'm sure Heather is a little bit worried about that chicken sitting on the boat. Just the raw chicken sitting at the bottom of the boat, cooking in the heat. Uh, and we're gonna have that for lunch. Beautiful. We're seeing sea creatures here. So this is our fanciest lunch on a boat yet. Um, they've cooked us up some chicken and made us these potato chips that are delicious and rice and oh my goodness, I'm so excited to eat it. So while we were swimming, they were cooking up the food and they kept asking us, how do you want the potatoes cooked? How do you want the chicken cooked? But we couldn't, we couldn't understand uh, uh, what they were saying. So uh, they cooked us a couple different varieties of potatoes, the best one being the homemade potato chips and they are fantastic. Yummy. Well, that has to be the best chicken I have ever had in my life, despite the fact that it was 
sitting on the bottom of the boat for a couple of hours. Um, but man, the uh, fried potatoes, the mango, everything just made it the, probably one of the best uh, meals we've had here yet. And now it's time for some swimming. found this little uh, cove hideout and got to fly the drone and it was a beautiful view. Even saw a family cracking open some sea urchins, which was kind of crazy and awesome. Hi. All right, it is officially hot today. We need to uh, find some shade and take a break. I'm going to make it island with some pants. <laughs> <laughs> It's been a fun day, but we are headed home. We're skipping the last island. It's a little bit too tired for the last island, but we're gonna head home and uh, enjoy the rest of the day in Chargao. So whether we are on a plane or a boat, Chloe tends to fall asleep right when we're getting ready to land or getting ready to dock. It seems to happen just about every time. Sleep. Yeah. <laughs> Especially on plane, she normally falls asleep literally like seconds before we touch down. It's comical how often it happens. She sleeps a lot, really, really a lot. So it was high tide when we came in and now it's low tide coming back. So we have to walk a long ways to get back. Hi. Just gotta watch out for sea urchins. Ooh, it's hot water. And that's the end of the water. And we still have to make it that far. It's rather impressive how far out the uh, tide went. Um, probably a solid half kilometer of difference between this morning when we left. Isn't it crazy? This morning, this was all over your head in water. Really? Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Way too much sun for one day, but now we're gonna take the motorcycle and head home. Ready to go, Alexa? flat tire after being in the sun all day we're stuck in the sun a little longer we'll get it fixed <laughs> luckily the place that I rented the bike from was right around the corner and we got some mango shakes while we waited there's a lizard in our house let's go look for him Snuggle with you tonight. <laughs> what? Okay. You need to put your shoes outside. 